There are Moomad, Tantri, Meeting Room, and many more. Do you want to know more about Chalab Jababeka? You can follow on Instagram at Chalab Jababeka. So, what are you waiting for? Enjoy the video! Hello, Press Universe. Welcome to Professor Bokta 2023, an investment in knowledge always pays for the best interest. Where Professor Bokta is a platform that can increase your knowledge. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together as we explore the university life and all the knowledge it has to offer. It is no secret that Prison University consists of students from various regions to countries. The vibrant mix of culture creates a rich and inclusive environment for the students to thrive and learn from different perspectives. This cultural diversity contributes to its rich variety of cultures. Now let's join us as we explore the lack of international students in Prison University. Hello everyone, my name is Cynthia. I'm here as your host along with my partner, my name is Gabby and I'll accompany Cynthia as a host today. But before we start the show, let's shout out our tagline first, yeah, Gabby. Yes, Cynthia, that is true. Now, let's explore together on Talk 2023. Having of us, let's choose to chat with us. Being an international student at President University is exciting yet challenging, requiring them to adapt new cultures, education system, and sometimes even learning a new language. Yes, that's true. But despite all of these challenges, many of the international students think that studying at President University provides them with valuable experiences and also opportunities for their own personal growth. That's right, Gabby. In today's episode, we already invited speakers that could share their experience with us. Yes, it is none other than the representative of international students from President University. Now, let us welcome both of our speakers. Please welcome Aziza and Ita. Okay, please welcome Aziza and Ica. Hi Aziza, hi Ica. Hello everyone. Okay, how are you guys today? Um, we're doing fantastic. Hello. I'm doing awesome. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready for today's discussion? Yes, of course. Definitely. Okay, but before we start the show, why don't you tell us something about yourself first? Like, where are you from? Um, I'm from Timor Leste. Mm -hmm. I'm from Kazakhstan. Okay, since now we both know where mm -hmm. they're from, why don't you introduce yourself okay. um, from your own language? Of course, you want to start first? Okay, my name is Aziza Kibulakuza. My name is Kibulakuza Aziza, I'm from Kazakhstan. Indonesia, da, Prison City, Wilkumut, Zipuni, Wilsa Ponshtaman. I say nice to me and introduction in Kazakh language. Wow! Thank you. Okay, how about it? Um, hola, sorry, so it's very tall too. How many are you in Korea? Bello, the Dami Halanish Tudu, yeah, Prison University. Um, how frequent are you in Korea? Area, um, low Kadiretu, e how Gora, you have me, uh, Primeru Anu do is to do. Together. It's cool. really, it's really foreign in our ears. So can you please translate uh, what you just, what of you mm. just said? Mm. Alright. Um, so um, hello everyone. Um, I am Nidisha Korea Bello. Um, I'm studying in Prison University, majoring in law, and this is yeah, my, I'm in my first year of study. Yeah, the same as I, I introduced my name. I'm Zizi, so I just have my age, and I'm a teen, and I'm studying at Prison University in Indonesia. And nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really amazing. It's going yeah. to our ears, but it's something great to hear. Now, yeah. now that we've got to know both of you better, why don't we jump on or move on to the next session, which is the discussion session. So, let's start with the first question of today's discussion. Okay, for the first question, would you mind to telling us something about your journey in deciding Indonesia as a place for you to study? Maybe we can start from Ica. This is a very great opportunity. Um, you know, Indonesia is a very developed country, and um, 
especially in terms of studying. Um, I love the university here, um, particularly in Brazilian University. This is a very great chance to come here and learn pursuing my, um, you know, my bachelor. Um, and I could say that um, living in here and studying in Presidential University, it's also um, one of my dreams because I could meet you guys. Um, I have a friendly friends and a very open-minded and also, um, you know, clever people here. They are so sweet and loving people. Okay, that's from Ita's perspective. How about you, Azizel? Why okay. did you decide to study in Brazilian University? Okay, the major reason why I choose Indonesia because Indonesia is a big island, or triple A, as we know. So I was so curious how Indonesian people, people who live in island, lives in education system here. They taught in English. I was surprised. Wow, Indonesia has English major, uh, universities, courses, degrees, and I'm like. Okay, let's try and to see. And I heard that Indonesian people are the people in the world who smile the most. It's <laughs> in the country is safe. And I wanted to explore what are you guys here? Okay, cool. Both of you have an amazing story, interesting story, and I just know that Indonesia yeah. is one of the, the country who smells the most. I just heard it myself. But maybe that's true, yeah. Whenever mm. I go somewhere, I also yeah. see that people often smile. We like greet to each other like... Yeah, yeah. We smile often, that's true. But I just hear it now from the foreign people. So, uh, can you please tell us how long have you lived in Indonesia? We can start with Aliza first maybe for this time. Okay, so it's about nine months since mm. September. It's already nine months after 32 months, it will be a year. So, yeah, <laughs> almost one year. Eh? Yeah. How about you, Isha? How long have you lived um, in Indonesia? Actually, I've been here like last year for the Y20 Submit, uh, Y20 Indonesia Submit, um, representing my country. And that was a very amazing and incredible opportunity. And at that time, I thought like um, Indonesian people and Indonesia itself. It's a very developed and I would love to study here one day. And luckily I'm here and it's already been like almost one year for being yeah. here. And I, I love to be here. Okay, what an inspirational story from both Ichan and Aziza. Okay, for the next question, what has been the biggest challenge you faced as an international student in here? Maybe we can start from Icha this time. All right, um, talking about challenges, struggles, and obstacles is something normal, yeah? Because we're going to adapt to new environment and, um, you know, like different cultures, especially. But um, Indonesia and Timor-Leste, it's not a faraway country, yeah. we're a neighborhood. <laughs> and we would have a kind of like similar cultures and um, not that far away in terms of behaviors, attitudes um, from people. And it's really lovely because most of the Indonesian people, they are um, like in terms of greetings um, and then working together like like now on. Um, <laughs> it's a bit friendly and you know, um, what the most challenges are the languages. Actually in Timor-Leste, we're not learning using Indonesian language, but it's Portuguese and our in Tetun. And then, um, you know, like we learn academic language like in our country, but um, for talking, chit-chat, um, you know, I'm a bit nervous whenever I start to talk to people in Indonesia, but after the time passed by, I think um, you guys are so nice. You correct me whenever I made a mistakes in terms of talking. And yeah, um, for now on, I love to just to be friend with Indonesian people. So from each other, the biggest challenge is basically the language, the yeah. Indonesian language. Now, how about Aziza? What is the biggest challenge you face as an international student in Indonesia? So there's not much challenges if you're good at adaptation, but uh, when I went here, some people forget to tell you to register your email. It's the registration of your birth rate only it doesn't work in Indonesia. So that one, uh, that was a big challenge for me because I forced to buy a new phone. Uh, in other case, from people, I never faced some kind of challenges because people are friendly. If you speak English, they will try to help understand from time to time. 
And the other one, maybe food. Food is kind of spicy, but it depends <laughs> on person. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spicy food lovers will like Indonesia because it has lots of cuisine. But for me, I burn my tongue and <laughs> I don't like it. But still, good. Yeah, there is some spicy food, especially nasi padang. Then that gets quite yeah. spicy, but like it tastes good. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It depends it's on your taste, good. but yeah, it's all. And adaptation is really important. That's the true. You got no challenges because you got, you have little bit of challenges because you've got a good adaptation. And I think like that's amazing. Now, yeah. Can you would mind sharing the best part of living in Indonesia and what is that? Is the the one that you interest? interest you the most. Uh, for this one, you can maybe start with Tisha. All right. Um, the most interesting part of yes, living in Indonesia. Indonesia. Um, wait, that was a very great and also hard question yeah, because <laughs> it's just my first year of living in Indonesia. But um, the most interesting part is that, yeah, I could say as a low student, um, you know, like, Um, having networking connections in international level is such a very important thing, especially in living in Indonesia. Um, but I could say that um, it's not that easy because they're all the constitutions, everything are using Indonesian. But um, for the people that once I get connected with um, in terms of embassy, like the US embassy, yeah. also the organizations here, um, They are really, you know, like open and they open for all the, you know, like all nationalities and the organizations here, for instance, like PUSU, um, PUSC and others, um, they really want to work with foreign people. And I think that was a very interesting because we could learn from them. Like everyone has their own, you know, um, own experiences, journeys, also in a part or sense of academy. And it's really good to learn from various um, perspectives, various sides. And I think that will be more interesting when we come to next year, especially in internship. I would love to explore more. Okay, that was the, the most amazing part of living in Indonesia for each person. What about Aziza? What's your version of the best part in living in Indonesia? Okay, the first time when I tried motor bikes, motorcycles, yeah. <laughs> I met a girl who drives a motorcycle. And oh. my first friend was a Indonesian girl and we got rides with motorcycles. I was like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Indonesia's culture of motorcycles, I've been noticing so much motorcycles. It's, I think it's the most used transport here. Yes. So the other thing that I'm excited about Indonesia is that there's no winter. It's so comfortable. <laughs> you don't need to wear coats. Yeah. No need only summer or rainy. The climate is literally freezing and comfortable. Uh, the other thing, the people are friendly. You feel like a home. I think after this, Indonesia will be my second home. When I remember <laughs> my student life. Indonesia will have that warm association yeah. Yeah. in my past. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of a very welcoming country. And as As we look Asian, mm -hmm. they will accept me as they as them as they are part, you know, something. It's really uh, heart heartwarming to yeah. hear you say that for <laughs> Indonesian. But have you ride the motorcycle? I don't know. How to <laughs> Okay, now that we have now the Aziza version of the best part living in Indonesia, well, let's just jump to the uh, next question. What is the difference between your life in your country and in Indonesia? Maybe this time we can start from Aziza. Okay, since we are students, we live by ourselves independently. So mm -hmm. the difference is I live by myself, like how you can learn independently. The other thing is the, the timeline. When we were in high school, we had different uh, courses. Mm -hmm. uh, in my high school, I was loaded until evening, but thanks God, uh, <laughs> in Thai University, sometimes um, not every day we have class. It's like four days, maybe in the morning, another day in the evening, but we'll have still free time for our activities, for mm -hmm. hobbies. It's not taking all your time. It's, it's giving you opportunity to develop, to be the professional with your free time. I think this is a good part of Kuwait University. Uh, difference in lifestyle, uh, 
as I said, in Indonesia there is no spring, no winter. In Kazakhstan, there will be winter sports, uh, skiing, skiing. Mm -hmm. But Indonesia replaces with other stuff like the water parks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're good too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. okay. That's the difference that Aliza felt. Now, mm -hmm. how about you, Rita? What is the difference between your life in your country and in Indonesia? All right. Um, I could say that I'm choosing Indonesia to spend my life as a university student. It's, um, you know, like a bit um, different. It's not just a bit, but a huge difference <laughs> because um, in the university life, you will have, like, you are the one who will manage your time. And most of the time, um, during the first, second, and third semester, you will not have a lot of assignments, projects. <laughs> but um, after that, when you already choose your concentration, there will be like, um, many projects that will come and then um, there will a lot of activities that you will do but I could say that for now um, the difference is that I'm alone actually as I was already living alone during my childhood time um, and it's pretty you know like uh, normal for me for that um, but for the um, finding friends uh, making new connection that was something that um, you know really different because in Timor Leste, um, you if you want to make a friend with someone, um, after that you will be like you know connecting to them. You will be always with them, and then but it's different in Timor Leste. If you want to make a friend, you should you were the one who come up first, like mm -hmm. hello, what's your name, and um, asking continuously. But in Indonesia, it's really different. Like um, you. Like whenever you meet someone, that person will, you know, like greet you first, like hello, hi, <laughs> and it. I really happy because um, that was um, my first time in this university, and I find a new Indonesian friends, which is really lovely. And after that, we can continue the um, making myself more adaptable. And um, the last thing is that the way they live, like everyone has their own lifestyle, right? And Indonesian they makes you feel like you are you. You could express, you could join anything, you could do anything that you love. And that was um, the, you know, the difference between the two countries. But I don't think like there's a lot of Timor-Leste people mm -hmm. in Brazilian University. Yeah. There are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's really a lot mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really sure about people from Kazakhstan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Except you? Is there any I other? I'm the first person from yeah. my country here. Yeah. Oh. But basically, we have other students in Jogjakarta, but it's so far. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's really far. Yeah. It takes mm. hours even with with cars or flights. Yeah. 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 But yeah, it's a great thing to know this. Mm -hmm. And next up, um, this is really, for me, this is an interesting question. So what comes to your mind when you think about Indonesia? Like for this question, we can start with Aziza first. Okay. Indonesia. <laughs> it just ocean. anything. <laughs> ocean. Ocean. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, uh, what else? The Bati. Yeah. Oh. The tribes in Bali. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Yeah, the islands. No, after you speak that, I didn't think like Bali is really yeah. one of the most Iconic. famous, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> famous like, things in Indonesia. Sure. Yeah. But hearing you say nasi goreng, it's like, is it one of your favorite from Indonesia or what? Yeah, because it's it's kind of a little bit similar to the dish that we have. It's called uh -huh. and it's like, when I eat it, I was like, okay, it's like, oh. <laughs> it's great to know that. Mm -mm. How about you, Isha? Um, when I heard the name Indonesia, what comes to my mind is um, spicy food. Ah. <laughs> yeah. um, actually, uh, what I didn't say was really true because mm. I'm not used to it, um, spicy foods. But mm. when I came to Indonesia, I love spicy food, ah. uh, especially nasi padang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Because, you know, um, in Timor Leste, we're not, you know, used to spicy foods mm -hmm. because we love European foods. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. then 
it's a bit different with Indonesia. And what comes to my mind after that is um, friends. Yeah, like, you know, um, I came here without any friends. Mm -hmm. And then I I have five best friends from Indonesia. <laughs> and they were really sweet and lovely. We shared everything, especially um, in academic. Also, we hang out together. Mm -hmm. And then after that, what else? Yeah, um, I could say opportunity. Mm -hmm. ah. Like, I love the way Indonesia Indonesian people take the opportunities. Like... Mm -hmm. They love to learn, they, they love to explore. And we have the same, you know, like way of self growth. And that's why I love about Indonesia. Uh, at the end, a lot of people maybe would like to love spicy foods, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have high tolerance of spicy food. Mm -hmm. mm, I could say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a lovely perspective from both of you guys. Let's jump to the last question for today's episode. What advice would you give to someone considering studying abroad? Maybe this time we can start from Icha. Um, I think I should think. Are you going to go first? Okay, okay. okay. So, if you want to study in Indonesia, when you arrive from airport, don't forget to register your email. <laughs> <laughs> uh, buy your Indonesian SIM card. Um, don't forget any documents. Um, prepare to do adaptation, to adapt to the new environment. Because when you went to another country, you should accept all of the flaws, all of the stuff cost or do uh, a certain yeah. analysis and just be prepared like know what kind of weather they have for instance if you're going to indonesia don't bring your coat right <laughs> <laughs> bring summer clothes and yes. things like that be prepared and be positive because if you will look forward for your future for positive perspective so most likely you will have positive life positive beginning and how it begins how that that that's how it ends right mm -hmm. so don't give up. Indonesia is very clean developed country. It's suggested to come here. If you come to abroad, I would suggest you to go abroad. We learn, be independent, be strong. That's my advice. Wow. Well, it's from the person who speaks from experience. Like yeah. she knows so much yeah. about well, how can you study abroad and mm -hmm. study the things like that. The adaptation is really important, how you register yourself. Just prepared it's really important isn't it mm -hmm. yeah now how about you Ija? all right um same back to my journey and experience i could say that um first of all um, for those who wants to study abroad especially in indonesia um i could say that um you could do some research before coming mm -hmm. um True. about the country itself how you can gain like more experience in here and after that, you could also, um, you know, prepare yourself on the documents. That's a very important <laughs> thing because there are lots of Timor Leste people. They, you know, like um, they return to Timor Leste just because of the documents. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that was a very saddest thing. Um, and then the next one, I could say that um, you could prepare yourself as much as possible um, in terms of, you know, like. Um, learning something about Indonesia, especially in your major. At least when you want to study in that part or in that major, you could um, doing some research, you could study and prepare yourself as Aziza said. And lastly, um, be more friendly because you will gain lots of friends here and don't be afraid to start communicating and don't be afraid to be, um, you know, like to connect with people. That's all. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What an inspirational stories, advice, and perspective from both of our speakers. Okay, Gary, what do you think? What do you think? Yes, absolutely, Cynthia. I don't, I found that their stories, mm -hmm. their the one they have, they recommend us their tips about going abroad, and then their love about our food yeah. in Indonesia, <laughs> and then also things about Bali, the studies, the opportunities our friends, how friendly our people are, and how our people like like to smile most <laughs> of the times. It's really amazing, and I find their story is really, is really interesting and intriguing to listen to. But not only that, now that they have shared their stories, we can get a glimpse into the point of view of international students in Presiden University. 
Their story certainly brought a new knowledge and understanding for us as local students on how international students live their life far from their country. Yes, that's true. And I do think it is truly a plus for us to get this knowledge and understanding from both of these lovely international students in President's University as we live in a diverse community. Okay, guys, I think that already covered up our discussion for today. Yes, that's true. And we are so, so grateful to have an open discussion with both Aziza and Icha as the representative of international students in President University. We are very delighted to have one of you in today's episode. Thank you so much, Aziza and Icha, for your participation in today's episode. Thank you for the invitation. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Aziza and Icha, and thank you, Press for those of you who have taken your time to watch this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to stay tuned on Pusu Prosong channel for the next exciting episode. And lastly, Cynthia, before we end our episode for today, why well, don't we show our tech time together with our both of our lovely speakers here? Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? You know our tech line, right? Mm -mm. Are you fast? Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, are you ready, guys? Yes, yes. I think they're so ready. Uh, okay, together on Pusu Blog Talk 2023, having a fast, let's cheers, chit chat with us. Bye, guys. Bye guys.